Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a tropical themed card. I've got tropical vibes on my mind. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm actually headed back from Hawaii right now, but I'm bringing you a card project featuring the brand new Sunshine On My Mind stamps, stencils, and coordinating die set from Pink Fresh Studio. This is available today, and here's a look at the stamp set along with the die and the coordinating layering stencil set. This is actually a part of a scrapbooking suite, so there is also pattern paper, vinyl stickers, chipboard embellishments, all those kinds of things available. But today I'm gonna concentrate on the stamps, the stencils, the coordinating die, and I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of that pattern paper. So I'm starting out with the stamp. This is a one piece stamp and there's several images on it. And when I saw that giant monstera leaf, I knew I would be traveling to Hawaii around this time. And I thought I have to use that on a card. So I've mounted that onto my Misty stamping tool and now I've added some Concord and Ninth white cardstock. It is my favorite white cardstock. I've prepped it with a little bit of powder tool and I'm inking up the stamp using some Versamark ink and then stamping that onto my cardstock. Now I rotated my cardstock and I did that one more time. So I have two sets of images stamped on this half sheet of cardstock. And now I'm adding some Brutus Monroe Gilded Embossing Powder. This is a gold embossing powder to all of those images and I'm going to heat set it. Now you'll know your embossing powder is done when all of the images are smooth, it doesn't look grainy and it's nice and shiny. So now that I have all of my images heat embossed, I can start my stenciling. So I'm gonna line up the first stencil in this layering stencil set. And this is the large kind of solid portion of these larger florals in the set. And I'm going to ink blend using some Coral Reef ink. This is one of my favorite Pink Fresh Studio colors. And it's also perfect for that tropical pink vibe. Now, if you want a little bit brighter pink, you might want to go into like the Sparkling Rose Bubblegum family. But I just really love kind of coral red colors. That's just my jam. <laughs> So I'm going to put a layer of that over all of these open areas. And before I remove my stencil, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe down the surface of this stencil with a dry microfiber cloth. And then I'm going to bring in some peach fuzz ink. And I'm just kind of blending that into the center of these large florals. This just shifts the color just slightly and adds a little bit different hue. I love the combination of coral reef and kind of these peachy oranges together, the peach fuzz and the apricot. And once I blend those images, I'm going to rotate my cardstock and do the same on the other set of images. Now I have the next layering stencil, and for this one, I am using Grassy Knoll ink. I'm gonna use some kind of truer greens, and then later on, I'm gonna go back and stamp this again, and I'll bring in some of the teal greens instead, like the Mermaid Cove and the Tidal Pond. Now, once I've blended on that grassy knoll over all of these areas, I'm actually going to bring in one of my half inch blending brushes from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm gonna blend some key lime just at the base of these leaves, just to add a little bit of variation into this. There are some detail layers in some of these leaves, not all of them. And I just wanted to add just a little bit of darkness and shading to the base of the leaves. So I just did that with a smaller blending brush and that really makes it easier to control where I'm going with my ink. Now for this next layer, it is the detail layer of the florals. So I am bringing in the passion fruit ink, which is the next darkest color in that coral reef family. And if you didn't wanna qu go quite this dark, you could use the coral reef again and just blend it on with a heavier hand. Now this next stencil includes some greenery as well. And so for this, I am using Mermaid Cove and I am again using those half inch blending brushes from Pink Fresh Studio. In the smaller images, it just kind of helps me control where I'm putting that. This also has the detail layer of that large monstera leaf up in the upper right hand corner. So I'm adding that over the top of my traditional greens, no problem to mix those. And once I have all of my ink blending done, I'm gonna go ahead and use the coordinating die to die cut all of these images at once. So this is a one piece stamp and a one piece die. It's easy to line up all of the images at once and run them through your die cut machine and then you have several images ready to go. Now, because I've done this twice, I have twice as many images 
And I love this gold detail embossing powder around the edge of these images. Now I decided I wanted more of that kind of tidal pond and mermaid cove color in my grouping. So I went ahead and stamped and heat embossed these images once again, but I didn't wanna take the time at this point to ink blend all of those images. So I just ink blended the leaves and then I went in with a pair of scissors, cut those off of the rest of the images and ran those through my die cut machines. And then those other images are stamped and ready to go the next time I want to create. And it's gonna be easier to color those in because they are still all in one piece. So now I'm going to add a little bit of foiling to my card and I have die cut some Concord and Ninth white cardstock using one of the Pink Fresh Studio stitched rectangles. And then I am positioning this nested arch hot foil plate from Pink Fresh Studio onto the center of that panel that I've die cut. And I've used some best ever craft tape from Spellbinders to create a hinge on this hot foil plate so I could slide in some matte gold foil from Spellbinders as well. I love this best ever craft tape because I feel like when I run it through my hot foil machine, it doesn't leave any sticky goo on the surface. It's like it's designed for heat resistance. Some of the other tapes that I've used, I've had some trouble with some of the adhesive transferring to my cardstock. So I laid that with the plate side, the back of the plate facing my glimmer platform. I set the timer. When the timer was done, I removed the platform from the base. I added my shims and ran that through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. I'm gonna flip that onto my glass surface so that it cools quickly and then I can go ahead and carefully remove the hot foil plate and peel back my foil to reveal this beautiful arched foil design on my card front. Now I'm gonna use the coordinating die that nests right inside this hot foil image. This is also from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm gonna tape it in place with some scraps of that Best Ever Craft Tape, but I'm being careful not to allow the tape to overlap any of my foiled portions because it can pull up the foil or mar the surface of the foil just a little bit. Now off camera, I went ahead and stamped the Hey Sunshine Sentiment onto some white cardstock and used the coordinating die to die cut that out. And I did stack a couple of plain white die cuts behind it to give it some weight and dimension. And now I'm just arranging some of my greenery and my florals around that arch. Now, this is where the Hawaiian tropical sunsets come to mind. <laughs> I wanted to make something to kind of go within this window. So I have a panel of plain white cardstock. This is Concord and Ninth white cardstock. It blends beautifully. And I'm starting off with a little bit of peach fuzz ink and then I'm moving into apricot and I will finish off this panel by adding some coral reef ink at the bottom, kind of creating the sunset vibe. And then I can trim this down and I can place it behind that arched window that I created on my card. Now, if this doesn't scream sunshine on my mind, then I don't know what does. <laughs> And these three colors together create such a beautiful sunset effect. I just can't imagine a better color combination to kind of go with this. And I love that I brought in kind of those more teal green leaves to mix in with that true green to give the greenery a little bit of variation. Now you can see this panel when I place that window over the top is gonna to be beautiful. And to mat all of this, I'm going to use some of this blue and white striped pattern paper from the Sunshine on My Mind 6x6 paper pad. And I am going to cover my entire A2 size card front in this pattern paper. This kind of brought back memories of like blue and white striped beach towels. I feel like they always have those blue and white striped beach towels at the hotels. <laughs> So I thought this kind of fit into my tropical vibe here. And I'm just adding all of these layers on using some tape runner adhesive. So starting out with the pattern paper and then my ink blended panel. Now for this window panel on my card, I used the next biggest nested arch in that nested arch die set to die cut a panel of foam adhesive. So it has the little arch cut out of the center and I place that onto the back of my window piece. And now I'm beginning to add all of my elements and I mixed in different levels of dimension here. So some of the outermost pieces 
have just some liquid glue behind them. And then those two larger kind of teal monstera leaves, those have some foam adhesive behind them. And this large floral focal piece has actually a double layer of foam adhesive. So I have varying levels of dimension. And once I get all of those placed, I can remove the backer from the foam adhesive on my window piece, adhere that to my card base, and then I'll add my sentiment and finish this card off with some iridescent dew drops from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm just using my dual tipped embellishment wand and some liquid glue to position those onto my card front. So there you have it, a beautiful tropical themed card using the brand new Sunshine on My Mind stamp stencils, coordinating die and pattern paper, all from Pink Fresh Studio. I absolutely love this collection. And you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I will have a complete list of supplies, some more still shots, as well as more information and some information on a blog hop happening today, celebrating the brand new June 2023 release from Pink Fresh Studio. There are prizes, so you will want to head over there and check that out. And as always, if you check out the YouTube description below, I'll have links to the featured products used in this project, as well as some information on where to find the coordinating blog post. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my card making and paper crafting video tutorials. And let me know in the comments what you think of this new collection. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.